Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. This week we are talking about chapter six of Humility by Andrew Murray. And this chapter is about humility in daily life. And uh, basically he talks about how humility is shown in how we treat others, how we treat the other believers that are around us or even non-believers that are around us. Um, and so how are we supposed to treat those around us? The Bible, uh, basically the whole Bible, the whole Bible together is about love and not only how Christ and God has loved us and saved us, but how we are to love other people because Christ has loved us. And one of the uh, most popular examples of that would be in 1 Corinthians um, chapter 13 verses 4 through 7, which says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. And I think basically, whenever that's in the light of humility, we see that love is emptying yourself of your desires, your preferences, your preconceived notions, and in order to count somebody as better than yourself, uh, in order to truly serve and love somebody, um, we need to empty ourselves. Just as Christ has emptied himself, he, he left his heavenly home and he emptied himself of all of his glory and he came down to this lowly earth. He was born in a manger and he not only came and lived a perfect life, but he died a sacrificial death um, all things that he didn't need to do. He he could have stayed in his heavenly home, but instead he came down and he followed the will of God. He emptied himself and his will wasn't to do his own will, but it was to do the will of him who sent him, which is God. And so we, we have this wonderful example of love to look to and um, we can take that and we can empty ourselves because Christ has emptied himself and we can count others as better than ourselves and love them and serve them by laying down all of our um, desires, preferences, wants, loves, preconceived notions. Um, we can lay all of that down in order to love people better. And so, yeah, um, I think a lot of times, I know me personally, when somebody hurts me or says something hurtful or even says something out of love but is meaning to correct me and show me where I'm falling short, my automatic response is to get defensive and that in itself is very prideful um, and it's not in Christ that that stems from, that comes from sin and um, but whenever we have this kind of change of thought, whenever we've emptied ourselves of those things um, and Jesus has filled us instead, we can look at those things and we can choose to be humble and love those people, whether that's by extending forgiveness, even if they haven't asked for forgiveness, or whether that's by humbly accepting their correction and um, maybe that means that you need to apologize or um, ask for forgiveness um, but I think it's so amazing that we have this wonderful example to look to in Jesus and um, that even when I fail when I'm defensive when I put up a wall um, through that Christ is teaching me that I need to be more humble that I need to that I'm not filled with him that I'm still filled with this idea of myself and that I need to be fighting against that on a daily basis. And so yeah, that's kind of all I have to say today. Um, I think it kind of fits in with what's going on in America this week, but um, I hope you are encouraged and I'm going to close us with the prayer at the end of the chapter. So please pray with me. Father, my heart makes idols faster than the spirit and me demolishes them. And those idols are mainly made mainly all made of one thing, myself, my glory, and my interests. I do not like being counted as least in the daily motions of my life, and in all honesty, I desire, to, I, I desire you to put my interests at the forefront of your mind as well. I confess, this not only corrodes my trust in you, but it also corrodes my relationship with others. 
Teach me in my unguarded moments to look to you, to trust you, to worship you so much that when I am among others, my life is a fragrance of you, to you, for you. Help me give myself up for the sake of others in an act of worship to you. Empower me through the work of your son and the power of your spirit. Amen. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Um, we'll be back next week with chapter seven. So yeah, that's kind of all I have today. So thank you so much, guys. Bye.